and turn this 0 0.9. Remind me, how do I turn that into a fraction? Yes. Yeah, this just becomes a 9 over 10 because we're in the tenths place, so it's just 9 over 10. Good. Now, can I reduce this thing? No. So this is considered in simplest form. Is in simplest form because, that means because, you can't reduce. By reducing means I can divide the top and bottom by the same thing. Now what if I had this decimal, zero point quattro? How do I write that as a fraction? Yes. Oh yes, this is, again, this is in the tenths place, so you write it as four over ten. Is this in simplest form? Why not? Because you, if you divide by two, you could get two fourths. Ooh, I can divide the top and bottom by two. Exactly. Whatever you do to the numerator, you do the same thing to the denominator. That becomes 2 over 5. You can't reduce that anymore, so now that is in simplest form. Pretty simple, yes? yes. Get it? Pretty simple? What if I had 0 0.25? How do I write that as a fraction? Yes, sir? Wait a second, how'd you get 100? I've been getting 10s over there. Yeah, you got two places. That last number's in the hundredths place, isn't it? Yeah. So whatever the last place value is, that's my denominator. A good shortcut is, see how many spaces are after the decimal point. That's how many zeros are in your bottom number. So if I had 50 decimal places, I'd have to have 50 zeros on the bottom. All right, am I in simplest form here? Nay, yeah. nay, nay. No. no. What can I reduce this by? Uh, yes, ma'am. You can divide it by 5. So when I divide top and bottom by 5, I get 5 over 20. Is this in simplest form? No. Yes. Wait, no, 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 no. Well, no, why not? Because you can Oh, I can reduce it by another 5. Oh. So that means 5 divided by 5 is 1. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Let's do 3.75. Ooh, how do I do this one? Yes, sir. Okay, so it's going to so be a whole number. whole number. And then you write 100 at the bottom because there's two uh, places in 75 over 100. All right. Good. Is that my final answer? Oh, why not? Yes, sir, in the back. I can divide by, could I divide by anything else besides 5? No. 10, 15, 3, 5. Oh, 25. Think money. Think, yeah, when you see numbers like 75, 50, 25, 100, think quarters. I can divide both by 25. So the whole number, you don't have to mess with. The whole number just stays the whole number. What's 75 divided by 25? Three. three. How many quarters make up a dollar? Four. four. Your final answer, three and three-fourths. So don't reduce the whole number. Not the whole thing, but I mean the whole number. Don't reduce this guy. Reduce only the fraction. Did you write all this down? Wow. Well, how come? So I don't understand why you don't get it. I mean, you don't take notes and you don't pay attention to me. So I don't understand how you don't understand this. You, I would think you would understand it all if you're not writing it down. Hmm, interesting. I think I'll put that down over there. That'll be included in your uh, grade link.